here at the Port Royal Speedway, and the Keith Kaufman Classic is green. Logan, the early leader, look at Brent Marks in the start, already up into that fourth spot as Lance DeWeese is shuffling through the field. He's really losing wholesale possessions. He's just outside the top down. Cars getting together on the back straightaway. Upside down is the 11. A TJ Stutz, the red flag is out. And getting word that all drivers are okay on the back straightaway. Green is out, Brad. Here we go. Good side-by-side -side start. A little better for DeWeese, but still falls behind Anthony Macri. Logan Wagner, your early leader. And look at Macri on the top side of two. Anthony Macri is on the move. He will drive by the 55 of Mike Wagner and take second there in the turns to the nth word. He's not done yet. He's going to try to apply pressure to Logan Wagner on lap number one. Brent Marks behind them, right on the top side, trying to gather some momentum as they head into three. Lance down low once again. That's a great side-by-side -side battle for position. Number three, trouble car upside down. There in turn number four, the red flag is out. Looks like it's the 48 of Danny Dietrich upside down there in turn four. Pace quickens, green flag is out. We're back underway. Wagner leads them into turns one and two. Here comes Macri with the run. They're side by side momentarily. Looks like Wagner's gonna hold them off. As we got a battle for the fourth spot, Brent Marks outside of DeWeese. DeWeese, he's gonna go inside of Wagner battling for third. Three car battle for that third spot. Marks, he moves himself up into four. And Macri has maintained a nice enough distance that it's all about Logan Wagner not making a mistake because Macri is tight there in the middle of three and four. He's nose to tail with the leader. See what happens, one lap car in between them. Now here comes Anthony Macri. He's gonna rip the lip there off for turn number two. Duck behind the pilot, Logan Wagner. Great battle for the lead. In the three, Macri with the run, but he gotta hold up with the lap car. They're still side by side. Can Logan Wagner capitalize here and get around Jeff Halligan, the lap car? He does, keeps Macri at bay as we have 16 more laps to go. Macri back up top. And Brett Marks, he's starting to creep into the picture as he's third. Great run by Macri, they're off for turn two. He'll duck down low and he'll take the third. He'll take the lead in the turn three. But he's going to have to slide up high because the lap car had the bottom side. But Macri is your new leader with 15 to go. Now, what can the pilot Logan Wagner have to do? Because now Macri is going to have to deal with the lap traffic because here comes the Myerstown missile of Brent Marks. Able to hold onto the car now. Three cars battling for position. Lance DeWeese to the inside. Devin Borden trying to duck back low. Lance DeWeese looking to drive by Mike Wagner and move up in the fourth. Great side-by-side -side racing. Here comes Justin Peck now. He'll make the pass on Devin Borden and break up into six. Still, Mike Wagner not backing down as there comes Lance DeWeese. He has Brent Marks right in front of him for third. Justin Peck slides on Borden. DeWeese looks inside of Marks. Marks trying to get by the lap car to get away from him. Mike Wagner in the mix as well. And Brent Marks, he has damage to his front wing. His front wing has flipped up on the 19 machine, but he's trying to hang on for dear life in this one. As, all things got real close here off of turn number four. Here comes Mike Wagner's. He'll try by Justin Peck once again. Lance DeWeese, he's sitting in that fourth spot. As oh, trouble! Racing oh. And Devin Borden end over end on the top side of two. Devin Borden upside down in turns number one and two. We can see him moving around in the cockpit of the 23. Things are gonna get good here in turn one. Macri brings him back down, green flag is out. Here we go, back underway. Macri leads him on the top. Wagner follows him through as Brent Marks worked down low and Lance was down low as well. Mark's gonna look back down low as Justin Peck, he's gonna go by the 55 of Wagner. Logan Wagner holds on for a second. Mike Wagner battling back as we got three cars battling for position. Things got close there at the start finish line as there goes Mike Wagner. He's gonna work top side of the racetrack. He's in the fifth position looking to drive by Lance DeWeese as he has found some speed there on the top off of four. He'll make that pass. He's gonna make that pass and he's gonna look to the outside of Brent Marks as well. He's gonna go through the middle, maybe slide up in front of Mike Wagner. Three cars still battling for the third spot. Now Mike Wagner, does he stick back up top? Yes, he does. He's looking to break into a podium position here as we just have one more lap to go. White flag is out. Mike Wagner gonna put a short slider on Mark to move him up into the third spot as Anthony Macri's in turns three and four. Checkered flag is out and winning the Keith Kaufman Classic is gonna be the concrete kid, Anthony Macri.
Finishing second will be Logan Wagner, and finishing third will be Mike Wagner.